that this call is being recorded and we place our recordings on our YouTube channel. So if you don't want to be recorded, you may want to drop off now. And with that, we have an exciting topic today, which is the preview of um, Azure Developer CLI. OK, and we will uh, the goal is in this session to uh, kind of discover what it is and then uh, go about uh, a quick demo. Most is going to be a demo heavy session. I'm going to talk a few minutes. I have a few slides so just to quick a quick uh, level set on that and then we will move on. What is Azure Developer CLI? It's a open source tool to make it easier for developers to deploy their Azure resources and their code. So um, I mean, you may want to ask like, OK, what, what I mean, why we need it? We have Bicep, we have Terraform, we have Azure CLI. So first of all, it's built on top of the foundation of Azure CLI. OK. Second thing is a uh, Bicep is great if you are deploying infrastructure resources, but when it comes to code, you have to go through the DevOps pipeline. So what it is doing is a uh, developer CLI. It's gluing Bicep or basically your infrastructure as code uh, uh, tool. It can be Terraform as well. Combines it with the ability to deploy code so you in a single shot you can deploy your resources Azure resources your code you can stitch everything together. OK, so that's the goal and. Uh, that's what it's trying to do and just keep in mind it's in public preview, so please provide your feedback and um, go from there and it addresses all the stages. What they have done is they have provided some templates for you to start with like uh, app with code, um, sorry, app service with a Cosmos DB backend, things like that. So you can take a look at those tools and uh, sorry, templates and build your own um, um, kind of. Uh, for I mean, customize them for your own application. OK. And here are the hosts that are supported. So as you can see, it is very heavily on the side of past services. So at this moment, you can let's say that if you have an app that uses functions, app service, static web apps, that is something you can uh, take a look. So uh, Kubernetes, a AKS, managed Kubernetes, it's on the roadmap. As you can see here, support is not there yet. So um, coming soon, as they are saying. And then supported uh, programming models, uh, Node.js, Java, of course, .NET, and Python. OK, so these are the languages that are supported. And so with that, and by the way, uh, the default for infrastructure as code is Bicep. If you are not familiar with it, please search it in your favorite search engine, uh, Azure Bicep. There's a lot of uh, uh, information available. We have all already covered it in a previous um, uh, Azure Power Lunch session, lunch session, so you can take a look at that as well. But as I said, this is not a session where we go deep in um, Bicep. OK, so this is just an infrastructure as code uh, tool. That's all there is to it. Um, OK, any questions before we jump into demo? Joke. So let's as I said, this is going to be a demo heavy session. So there are two ways to start with it. The first one is that uh, what you do is you can take a template and modify it and use it for your own purpose. Second, you can start with um, basically, um, you know, uh, scratch and you know for your application so we are going to go with the scratch model so what we have we have a very simple dot net web application that i have created on my machine and um uh, and that web application um, is dot net based as i said uh, asp dot net core and i am going to use this to provision resources and deploy this app in Azure using Azure Developer CLI. OK, 
So first of all, what we're going to do here, um, I hope everybody can see this command prompt. Um, and let me see if I can increase the font size a little bit. OK, I think. Um, OK, so um, let me see. Yeah, OK, so I hope everybody can see it. So first of all, I'm going to create a folder uh, for my application. I'm going to call it. So by the way, the code I have created for my app is in a different folder, but the, I'm going to start a new folder to bring all my infrastructure and code um, together. OK. And by the way, in today's demo, we are not going to show CI CD. That is a part of uh, um, uh, AZ De Azure Developer CLI as well. So we will uh, discuss it in a probably a future session. So uh, and let's uh, create a R um, and we are going to call it um, AZD APL demo. OK, and then. Okay, we moved into the directory. So once we are in that directory, uh, what we are going to do is um, we uh, there are two ways we can go about it. Okay, uh, we can use um, directly go into VS Code and use um, that and uh, you know the the command prompt from there, or we can do it from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into VS Code and open this particular uh, folder. Okay. So let me go into VS Code. I'm going to say open folder and let's go in here. And there are so many folders. Let me go in that we just created. And please feel free to ask if you have any questions. This is the one that I have created. I'm going to select folder. So now this folder is open. Let me close this thing. Give it a second. OK, so that folder is open and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into um, view command palette. And I have installed Azure Developer CLI extension. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to type in Azure Developer. For some reason, this is running a bit slow. I'm not sure why. Okay, so let's try it again. Yes, I trust the authors. Okay, so I'm going to try again Azure Developer. Okay, so I think there is something going on here. So let's go with the command prompt option. By the way, you have to install Azure Developer CLI and then you will have the AZD command. So if I type in AZD command, uh, it will open it up and it will give you a different option like, hey, these are the different options. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use, first of all, AZD in it. OK, and this will initialize um, my VS Code. OK, so I'm going to go in, go in and I once I did the AZD in it, it's initializing a new project and it's saying what template I want to use. And I'm going to use the empty template. That's it. Um, and with that, it's going to create the minimal project files and we go from there and we'll look at different files and what each file or folder um, kind of uh, serves the purpose. It's going to ask me the environment name and I'm going to call it uh, NZ APL demo uh, one. OK, so that's the environment name. And uh, yes, so basically it's picking this up and it's going to ask me for the Azure subscription. I picked up the Azure subscription. Um, and that's it. Uh, it's going to ask the region. I picked up the region as well. And. 
new project has initialized. So if we go into uh, VS Code now, you see it has created a kind of a skeleton architecture. And if you go in here, this is the environment. You will see all the environment variables that we have created, name of the environment. And if you have multiple environments, you will have multiple folders here. OK, then we have uh, this Azure.yaml. This is kind of where, where everything comes together. Like, I mean, you have your code, you have your um, uh, infrastructure, everything comes together in this file. It has a structure um, and um, you can look at it uh, like how it is built up. Basically, you could define a name and then define like a service. What is your infra? What is your infra provider? Um, you know, uh, and if it's a uh, Terraform or not, you will uh, provide it here. OK, so uh, we are not going to uh, do anything here at this moment. First of all, uh, we are going to um, go in here and uh, create a new folder and we are going to. One second. Yeah, so uh, first of all, we are going to create a new folder and we are going to call it infra. So I'm going to go in here, create a new folder called infra. That's going to create the resources for our. Um... Man, what's going on with this thing? Oh God, uh, this is weird. Um, okay, let me. Um, I think there is something wrong here. Not sure why it is taking so much time. Okay, let's. OK, so infra folder is created. Hopefully the next one uh, doesn't take that much time. And what we're going to do is the next one is uh, we are going to create in that another folder. Um, or. Uh, core. And then. We are going to create another folder called host underneath the core. Oh man. Seems like something is going on. I should have restarted my machine. Okay, so host is created. That's where all of our files for infrastructure will go. So we are going to go into that folder. And I am going to copy a couple of files and I will explain it uh, to you once I have uh, copied them. And let me go in here and paste the two files. It's in the right directory. And let me move this one. OK, in the meantime, any questions, folks? So basically what's happening is uh, these are the two files. One will create a app service plan. The other one will create us uh, create an app service. So this is the resource definition for app service plan. And if you are familiar with bicep, this is how it looks like we are creating an app service plan and we are creating an app service. So that's that. So that's this part. Second thing we need to do is we need to add some. Um, um, some of the uh, some of the other files that are used for um, like uh, kind of a. You know. 
that we need to kind of a glue everything um, together. So let's go in there and I'm going to copy three files here um, and I will explain. Um, so I'm just going to copy it here. And um, I am going to. And they will basically uh, go into. Uh, infra level, OK? So we are at the infra level. I'm going to copy three files here. Okay. So first file is very simple. This is just for abbreviation. Since we are going to be generating, randomly generating the names of the resources, uh, this is uh, kind of a, and you can change it uh, if you want uh, to meet the requirements of your organization. Second thing, uh, sorry, uh, I'm going to go to parameters.json. This is the parameters. Basically, this is creating the parameters for deployment uh, for when you, the deployment is actually happening. And finally, this is the main.bicep file. This is the file which is creating the module, which is creating our infrastructure. So basically, it has the, it's going to create a resource group. It's going to create a web app, uh, which is .NET Core 7.0. And this is all bicep, okay? So this is all setting everything there. We are setting all, all that stuff up, okay? And finally, what we need to do is we need to uh, set up our source code. So that's, uh, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna click here. I'm gonna add another folder at the same level as infra, and then I'm going to, um, copy my entire web app into the SRC folder. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let's paste it. It's going to take a second. So this is my web app. Very simple web app. And um, this is basically shows you different um, information. It has a page index, and we are going to call it um uh, i'm just going to change it here i'm going to call it um azure power lunch okay that's that so that's all there is to it um your website okay now the final piece of the puzzle is this one azure.yaml so we have our infrastructure we have code how we tell us that which code is going to go to which infrastructure okay so that's where this thing comes into picture. This is going to be done by Azure.yaml, and I'm going to paste some code in this, and then I'm going to explain what that code is doing. Okay. I'm going to come here, and this is the code that I have pasted. I'm going to call it, what is the name of our folder? One. OK, so we pasted everything here. So now so what it is saying is you take your code and now you deploy it into the C sharp based app service. OK, language is C sharp, the code and the app service. Uh, that's the host that we are creating. So that's all there is to it. So now what um, uh, we are going to do is. Run the AZD, so there are different commands. Uh, let me just run the azd command one more time to show you what different commands are. You have config, you know, uh, user configuration. You have the deploy, which deploy the code. We first we did uh, was the init to initialize it, and of course you have to do an azd login. I already had login before, so that's why I don't have to log in. Otherwise, you have to log in to log into Azure. Otherwise, if you try to run those commands, it will ask you to log in. Okay. Sorry, I missed that. I should have uh, explained it there. And then we have uh, AZD provision, which is going to be provisioning the Azure resources. So let's do it this way. You can either do AZD, AZD provision plus AZD deploy, or you can just do AZD up. But we're going to do it in pieces. So we're going to do AZD um, uh, provision. Okay, and it's gonna take its 
a few minutes to deploy uh, these resources. Uh, let's say what, what is this? OK, while it is running, any questions? If uh, there's any question in the chat window, please uh, feel free to ask. Maybe there's um, nothing in the chat. I have a question actually while this please. running. Uh, so uh, thank you. Start, it started now from scratch. You have uh, the uh, AZD in it. That's why mm -hmm. you had the most empty skeleton there. Yep. If you yep. started yep. from a template, would it have put the infrastructure, the bicep, those? Yes, uh, yes. They would have and been actually, populated. That's a very good question. While it is running, I am going to show you uh, one project where there is a lot of stuff already there. You see, so if you use one of those templates, this is how it looks like. OK, once you open it in VS Code. So this is the basic stuff. Of course, you have your source and you have all your code here. And then you have your tests. If you want to run those tests, then you have other assets. If there are anything that you want to use in it, and then infra, same thing, you know, uh, all of your infra, like all the bicep stuff will go in here. So yes, it will create all of that. Even it has your GitHub workflows. So my point is, all of, uh, it will generate a lot of stuff, and you can customize that. So that that is another route that you can go with. You know, or you can take a look at it and pick up things that your project needs. You see what I'm saying? Does that answer your question? Yes, Navid, thank you. And I'm assuming then when we have that template SED up, would just deploy the whole thing. So with two commands would add your template. This. Yeah. You have it. That, that's awesome, honestly. Yeah, cool. Maybe thanks. Yeah, that answered that question. Shandipur. Yeah, and the environment name was in our case was the environment name NCAPL demo one. So sorry, it's kind of a stop. NCAPL demo one. Okay, so it's creating resources. Um, and uh, by the way, um, while it is creating resources, I can show it to you. I have kind of a, you know, the same mechanism since you only have five minutes. I have already have a resource that I have deployed. And uh, let me show you the resource groups. First, let me increase the font size a little bit so everybody can see it better. Okay. Give it a second. Come on. Yeah. So these are the resource group that I have deployed. I will show you some of the stuff that I have deployed um, in. Um, here we go. So this is what it look. It will look like once it deploys it. It will show you a um, let it come up. It will show you the app service plan and the app service. Go ahead. Yeah, so it will show you the app service and the app service plan. OK, so and but there will be won't be any code in the app service if you just run provision. OK, so now what we're going to do is uh, hopefully once this is finished. And we can um, go in and start the uh, deploy process as well. OK, so the deploy is very simple. You just do AZD deploy based on the YAML file, based on the location of your source code, it knows where to find the items that it has to deploy. And once it knows, it will start deploying um, that uh, that stuff. OK, so let's see. Yeah, it's still running, but so what will happen is uh, let's go back here and open this web app. And this is the one that I have deployed. I'm not sure why it is so kind of, I mean, that's the beauty of the live demo that sometime you run things and those things are kind of a really, really slow. So. Yeah. 
give it a second. Oh, come on. Okay, so let's browse. So this is how it will look like. I mean, they will open up the page. As you can see, this is how the outputs are. And um, see, that is complete. Okay, that is complete. And what we can do is we can do an AZD deploy. So let's see. So this is basically uh, the other one that I wanted to show you. Let's go in here uh, and uh, go into the resource groups. So this is the one that we just deployed. Sorry for going back and forth, but I just want to show you like um, for the sake of time, something that we have already deployed versus something that we are still deploying. So this is the one uh, resource that we are. Um, yeah, this is the one that we just deployed. And now we are deploying the code into this. There is some I have to check. But in any case, I mean, this will be uh, deployed into that. Since we have only two minutes, I want to show you how the deployments look like, how a complex deployment look like. Do, look at this. Uh, remember the project that I showed you, the template? If I deploy that, this is how it looks like. It will not only deploy the entire stuff, but it deploys the actual uh, uh, dashboard as well. OK, so if I go into that particular resource group, let me go in there. Um, and uh, so if I go into that particular resource group, um, this is the one. Look at how many resources it has deployed once it come up. You see how many resources and it also deployed a shared dashboard as well. So you can see. So it has not only deployed the code, but everything that goes uh, with it. So for example, if I go into this website. Um, if I open, try to open it up. Um, it will show me um, the resources that have been uh, deployed in that. So the point is this is something that is there kind of a, to do like the make the developer's life easy, you know, combining everything together through a simple CLI to deploy your resources as well as your code. So as you can see, this is the AZ dev to do. This is uh, how the UI look like. There's an API behind behind it that is also deployed. Everything is there. So just with a kind of a running a command, you can deploy all those resources. So any questions? In the chat and read so far. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, as I said, this is in public preview. I know we are a little bit over time. This is in public preview. Please take a look and, uh, you know, provide your um, uh, feedback and, uh, you know, and let's see how this thing evolved. We may come back to it to take a second look in the future. So with that, I hope uh, everybody find it useful. Have a wonderful um, uh, rest of your day, and I hope to see everybody next week for another session of uh, Azure Power Lunch. Thank you.